Good morning. Welcome Shem Stars. We are starting chapter 12 Electricity. In this chapter we will talk about electric current, electric circuit, electric potential and potential difference, Ohm's law and resistance of a system of resistors. Students, we know electricity plays an important role in making our life more comfortable and enjoyable. Electrical energy is a conventionally used and preferred form of energy because it is controllable and can be easily stored. Due to these reasons, the electricity is perhaps the first choice as a form of energy for variety of uses in our homes, offices, schools, hospitals, shopping malls and other commercial establishment and industries. So let's understand. What is electricity? Electricity is a form of energy of moving electrons from one atom to another in a conductor. It can be produced and stored in batteries. Let's understand what is electric current. Flow of electric charge through a conductor constitutes an electric current. In circuits using metallic wires, flow of electrons constitutes the flow of charges. Thus, usually flow of electrons constitutes an electric current. Or we can say electric current is defined as the time rate of flow of electric charges. The SI unit of current is the ampere and which is denoted by capital A. The symbol for electric current is I. As we know, the rate of flow of electric charges is called electric current. So let's understand what are charges. Like energy and momentum, electric charge is a conserved quantity. Charge cannot be created nor destroyed, but it can be transferred between objects. Charged objects exert electric forces on each other. We know opposite charges attract and like charges repel each other. Now let's talk about unit of electric charge. The SI unit of electric charge is Coulomb and is represented by the symbol capital C. The unit of charge is named so in the honor of French physicist Charles Augustin de Coulomb. Charge on an electron is minus 1.6 10 to the power minus 19 column and charge on a proton is positive 1.6 10 to the power minus 19 column. So we can say one column of charge is equal to charge possessed by 6.25 into 10 to the power 18 electrons or protons. As we know electric current is defined as the time rate of flow of electric charges. So this we can understand with the help of this slide. If Q charge flows through a cross section of a conductor in time t, then electric current I flowing through the conductor is given by this formula that is current is equal to charge flown upon time. Current we will express in ampere, charge in columns and time in second. Now let's talk about direction of electric current. When the phenomena of electricity was first observed, electrons were not yet discovered and scientists did not know about them. Hence, th at that time, electric current was considered to be the rate of flow of positive charges and the direction of flow of positive charges was considered to the direction of electric current. Such a current is called the conventional current. Electron carry negative charges as we have already seen the direction of conventional current is taken to be opposite to the direction of flow of electrons. So the direction of flow of electric current is the direction of flow of positive charge or opposite to the direction of flow of negative charge that is electrons. Now let's talk about the electric circuit. An electric circuit is a closed, continuous and conducting path having a source of electricity, some circuit element and a switch so that current can flow through an entire path. 
This light shows an electric circuit which is closed. A closed electric circuit is the electric circuit through which an electric current flows continuously. The another diagram shows an open electric circuit. An open electric circuit is the electric circuit through which no electric current flows. So children this is all about electric current and electric circuit. I hope you must have understood. In the next presentation we will talk about potential difference. Thank you Shem stars. That's all for today. You can drop your queries on Google Classroom. Take care.